Good day, student. This is your teacher, Daddy Cause, and today we'll be talking about basicity of acids. Basicity of acids. Uh, the last class that we met, we talked about uh, the fact that acid must have hydrogen in their molecule, according to Arrhenius theory, that there must be acid. Uh, there must be hydrogen in acid. So today now we're talking about basicity of an acid. What do we mean by basicity of an acid? Basicity is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in one molecule of an acid. You know, we have H2SO4, different number of hydrogen than HCl, and H2CO3, different number of hydrogen than H3PO4. So we want to know the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in the molecule of that acid and that is what is called basicity of an acid the number of hydrogen in an acid that can be replaced or if you like that can be ionized you call that basicity of an acid look at uh, on your screen you'll be seeing different acids and their basicity for example, you are seeing hydrochloric acid having one hydrogen atom in its molecule. So basically will be one. That one hydrogen atom is replaceable. H2NO3, uh, HNO3 rather, is trioxonitrate 5 acid. It has one hydrogen in its molecule. So basically is also one. H2SO4 is tetraoxosulfate 6 acid it has two hydrogen in its molecules basicity will also be two h2co3 is a weak acid trioxo carbonate 4 acid has two hydrogen in its molecule the basicity will be two hno2 is also a weak acid dioxonitrate 3 acid only one hydrogen so you can predict the basicity from the number of hydrogen that the acid is having one hydrogen h3po4 that's tetraoxophosphate 5 acid is having a basicity of 3 because there are three molecules of hydrogen in the uh in the there are three atoms of hydrogen in the molecule of the acid. Then the last one that I that is very very important that I want you to all take note of is ethanoic acid, which we call acetic acid. Acetic acid. Now acetic acid, if you look at the formula, it's having four hydrogen. 3 here and 1 here. But the basicity of the acid is only 1. Take a look at that. What could have happened that an acid having 4 hydrogen is having basicity of 1? That would take us back to our definition of basicity. That basicity is not just the number of hydrogen in the molecule of an acid alone. But basicity is the number of what? Replaceable hydrogen in one molecule. So this word replaceable is very, very important. Or ionizable. It's very, very important. The number of ionizable hydrogen atom or the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in one molecule of an acid. That is what we call basicity. And you can guess the reason why ethanoic acid has only basicity of one it's because these three hydrogen are not replaceable those three hydrogen cannot ionize only this one hydrogen can ionize and that's why basicity of ethanoic acid is one even though it has four hydrogen atom but only one of them can ionize and observe that in an organic acid, take note of this and don't ever forget. Any carbon, any hydrogen attached to a carbon, 
is never replaceable is not ionizable so when you are giving an organic acid any hydrogen there that is joined to a carbon will not form part of the basicity because it will not be a replaceable hydrogen atom so take note of that let me give you an example to that effect look at ch3 ch2 cooh is called propanoic acid propanoic acid there are six hydrogen present three two one making six but do you know that the basicity of this acid is ordinary one you can know the reason already because only one hydrogen is replaceable and guess the replaceable hydrogen there this that is not connected to carbon the remaining five hydrogen are joined to carbon and will not be replaceable so for organic acids hydrogen attached to carbon are not replaceable they don't form part of the basicity uh, oxalic acid which we call ethane dioic acid has this uh, formula oxalic acid it has this formula COOH 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 Now there are two hydrogen in this acid Can you predict the basicity of this organic acid? You said two That's correct Because there are two hydrogen there And those two hydrogen None of them are joined to carbon If any hydrogen has been joined to carbon there the hydrogen will not form part of the basicity because an organic acid. Please take note in an organic acid. But the basicity of this oxalic acid is two because there are two replaceable hydrogen ions in that particular acid. So let's check those acids. For example, hydrochloric acid. When it ionizes, it is giving us 1H plus. Is giving us 1H plus. That means it has basicity of 1. It can form one hydrogen ion. Look at it from the molecule. One, one hydrogen ion. Let's see. So, so basicity is 1. And when, uh, and when it has basicity of 1, it means that it is monobasic. 1 means mono. 2 means die. 3 means try. So, basicity of 1 monobasic basicity of two diabasic basicity of three tri basic let's see another example of a tetrazosulfasic acid the formula is h2so4 a very strong acid don't forget this is h2so4 how many hydrogen ion can you produce two hydrogen ion as you can see it has two hydrogen atoms and all the two hydrogen atoms can form ion. So the basicity of H2SO4 is 2 because it produces two hydrogen ion in solution. Let's see the basicity is 2. Then you can guess what is be called. It will be called a dibasic acid. Acid with basicity of 2. Let's check another acid, tetrazophosphate 5 acid. The formula is H3PO4. The formula is H3PO4. Um, you can see that it produces three hydrogen ion, three hydrogen ion, telling you that it is tribasic. Tribasic. When that basicity of three, it will be tribasic. So don't forget that tribasic acid have basicity of three. So let's summarize what we have learned. Let's see what we have learned in summary. Okay, for ethanoic acid, before we summarize, you know, I, I thought that out of the four acids, uh, the hydrogen, only one of the hydrogen is uh, replaceable. And you can see that it has one hydrogen replaceable in this place. The rest are not replaceable because they are joined to carbon. Take note of that. In an organic acid, 
hydrogen joined to carbon are not replaceable. So one hydrogen ion will be formed and, mono, and is monobasic because it has basicity of one. So take note of that. So let's see the summary of uh, what we've been discussing uh, in this lesson. That basicity is the number of hydrogen ions that will be produced or that are replaceable in one molecule of an acid. Take note of that. Hydrochloric acid has basicity of one and it is monobasic. Tetrasophasis acid has basicity of two. See, that's two hydrogen. Then, because of that, it is dibasic. Try also nitrate 5 acid as basicity of one because it has only one hydrogen in its molecule that is replaceable. So it's monobasic. Tetrasophosphate 5 acid as basicity of three. So it's tribasic. Acetic acid as basicity of one. So it's monobasic. Then triazocarbonate 4 acid has basicity of 2. Hence, it's going to be dibasic. It will be dibasic. So let's see some confidence building questions. Which I, will, I want you to write the answers in your notes. You can pause this video for uh, so that you can be able to write the question and answer it. Question number is which of the following is not an organic acid? And let's see what we have here as our options of foric acid, tannoic acid, oxalic acid, and formic acid. Check which of them is not an organic acid. There. Let's see question number two. Uh, there. Question number two. Which of the following ionizes partially in water? It's talking about uh, strength of an acid. H2SO4, H2CO3, HCl, HNO3. Which of them we ionize only partially in water? So let's see question number three uh, in this place. Which of the following acid has a basicity of one? Basicity of which of the following acid is one? We have H2CO3, we have HCO, which we have H2SO4, we have H3PO4. Look at that. Tell us which of them has basicity of one. So let's see question number four. We are given these options. You will tell us uh, in this question number four. How do you define which of them define basicity very well? Is it option A, option B, option C, or all of the options? So let's take. Uh, note of that and answer it appropriately. Question number five What are we having there? Tri basicity is exhibited in a molecule of what? Tetra of a six acid, trigonitrate five acid, tetra phosphate five acid, hydrochloric acid. Which of them is tri basic there? That's the question. Question number six. Ethanoic acid plus uh, sodium carbonate giving us sodium ethanoate, water, and carbon dioxide. The acid in that equation above will be what? Will it be monobasic? Will it be tribasic? Will it be dibasic? Will it be polybasic? So let's see the next question, question number seven. What is he having for us there? Ethanoic acid, oxalic acid. As the basicity of what? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? So, so let's uh, check that very well. Question number eight. The acid present in protein is what acid? Is it fatty acid? Is it, is it oxalic acid? Is it amino acid? Is it butyric acid? Let's check the next question here. Essay question number one. So here, yeah, how many hydrogen ion will one molecule of the following acid produce in water? H2SO4, trisocarbonate, four acid, trisonitrate five acid, acetic acid, trisophosphate five acid. How many hydrogen ion will they be able to produce inside water? Let's see. 
question number two of the essay part now which are the following which are the formula write the formula of two weak acids that are diabasic so write it there then the last question that we'll be having in this place is there's a question number three write the pack name of two weak acids that are monobasic write the pack name so we'll meet uh in lesson number four of this topic god bless you